staffing is an issue, that vacancies were an issue before the pandemic, and if we yep. are to clear the backlog, that that's going to continue to be a problem. Um, with Brexit on the horizon and the immigration policies from the Home Office, um, what barriers are there in recruiting international healthcare professionals that the NHS need? Um, well, obviously, uh, Brexit has already happened, but uh, in terms of the uh, flexibilities that we will have as an employer, I think the argument has been heard and listened to uh, that says we need to continue to be able to attract staff uh, internationally while at the same time growing the number of uh, people who are uh, trained uh, here in Britain. And I would say I'm quite optimistic, actually, that we are going to see a significant increase uh, in nursing and other areas. We're up 11,000 nurses over the course of the last year. And as I look at the number of applicants for undergraduate nurse education to start this September, which are up uh, significantly uh, on last year, and in the case of mental health nursing, up by nearly a third, I think it's entirely plausible to think that we will have the biggest intake for undergraduate nursing this autumn uh, that we've ever seen. So I'm actually forgive, increasingly forgive me, optimistic. Forgive me, Sir Simon. Um, I'm going to have to disagree with your optimism around retaining some of the overseas and non-EU staff that we have, having spoken to a number of them, and they are Black and Asian minority ethnic nurses, radiographers, HCAs, who have told me how difficult it is working in the NHS as a BAME um, member of the community in terms of the immigration health sur surcharge, the visa implications, and also dealing what, with what they feel is discrimination within, within the health service. I think the government have agreed to waive the immigration health surcharge. Do you know when that. it's going to come into effect? Because I, it hasn't come into effect yet, as I'm aware of. I know the Department of Health were asked that question within the last 10 days, and I think uh, said something such as imminently. Thank you very much.